Hey guys, it's uh, Cam here from Trimble. Today we're going to do another little quick video um, for the series of uh, No Design, No Problem. What I've got is um, a pad area that um, the compactor guys are wanting to use. And I just want to create a little bit of a separation from the other part of the site. We will run you through the process there on that and um, show you how easy it is that you can do stuff uh, in the machine without 3D models. Cheers guys and let's go. Okay guys, so for this, I've actually got a, um, a 3D design in Earthworks already, uh, but I don't want to use that. I want to, um, I want to do the separation like I said. So what, first thing you want to do is go out of 3D mode or design mode and go into infield design. So come up here and press and hold on this. It takes us through to the, um, the job setup. And then we want to go to, to change the mode. So it's the second one down here. And we want to go to infield. And then it's saying that I need to select a design there. It's red. So I can hit this guy and um, go and create. So here we want to use alignment and section because we want to create um, a line that um, matches the edge of that pad down through here. And then um, we want to do we want to hang a template off of that so we want alignment and section and then it's going to ask you if you want to use points so if you've saved points already or you've got points on the system that define your alignment you can select those um, you can use other alignments that you may have already created um, but in this case we're going to use the um, the blade focus point to define the alignment that is along um, the edge of that pad there where you can see I've run with the compactor. So here we're going to hit focus. Um, just a quick look at this. Um, this guy here is your focus point. So either left blade or right blade. And then the first thing we want to do is go and put our um, right blade on the point. Um, we want to um, the first point along the, um, the alignment there. And then we're going to come in and hit um, the plus button. So I'm going to get into position and then um, do that. Okay, so we've got the um, the right blade uh, on the edge of the line that I want to create. Um, so I come in here and I just hit um, plus. It's going to create the first point. Uh, in this case, it's very simple. I've just got um, a straight line that I want to create off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to the end and um, create my second point in here. So as I'm um, as I'm driving, you can see that that um, plus or the cross there is uh, moving. So that's my current um, blade focus point. So I'm just going to cruise down um, the end. Now I could do multiple points along the way, but in this case, it's a very simple design. I'm just going to tr uh, track on down to the end and um, hit the um, the plus again. Okay, so I'm on the dozer. And um, I was down the end there and I've come through and I've put my, um, my blade tip on the, the last point that I want to do. And this is where I'm going to hit uh, the plus key. Okay, so I'm back on the screen now and I can't see anything. I can just hit this button here. And um, it's going to bring me back to the first point I did. But you can see if I zoom out, um, that's the second point there. I can hit uh, plus on that. Okay, so I hit plus, uh, you can see that the distance between those two points is 77 meters. Um, that's the plan view, and you can look at the elevation here. Um, now it's not much elevation change there, if any. So, but that doesn't matter for what we're doing. The key thing that we just did is we created that alignment. Um, then we're gonna hit next. And then it's asking me, um, how do I wanna create the, um, the section or the template? Um, you can use your finger and draw it, which is what we're going to do in this case. Or you could actually put your um, your blade or your bucket on um, points to actually measure the section. Maybe you're trying to um, match an existing um, elevation change or something. Or you just want to physically put your bucket or your blade where you want the points to be. Or you can use previously defined or created sections. Um, so that's what they call templates. So here we're just going to use finger. Okay guys, so what we want to do now is um, create the actual template or section. 
and I want to go um, a metre out from that line we just created um, with no, no grade change. The so first thing we do is we hit plus and that creates the first point and it, by default it goes one metre out with um, a default grade change of zero. Then we want to do it again and I want, in this case, I want this next line segment to be going down about 10% um, and out three meters. So there's multiple ways you can do it, or two, two easy ways anyway. You can hit your finger, hold your finger on the point, and then you can move it to wherever you want it to be. Um, or you can actually just go through and um, enter the, the segment value. So here, that's the distance, I want three meters and then I want to go down um, 10 percent so minus 10 and hit OK for the tick and that creates the second point now we want to add the last point in this and so I want to go a distance of 3 meters but up 10 percent so I hit plus and then here I'm just going to go um, 3 meters and um, 10 OK and it's going to come back up so then we hit next. So then you can visualize um, this. So we can zoom, um, see a 3D view. See, you can make it a little bigger. You can see that. Um, but it's not quite what I want because I want actually my, my template to be on the other side of the line. Um, because you can see here that um, the, I want to be on this side, not that side. So we can flip the um, template over and then we can actually move the points uh, over. So that's what we want. So uh, we're coming out that one meter at zero, then we're going to go down 10% um, for three meters and then we're going to go back the other way. Um, and then that's the, that's the design we've just created. We're going to call it um, left of pad and then we're just going to hit apply so it's saved successfully uh, we want to select that as my infill design we don't want any line work so you can actually have other line work displaying as well if you've got it from your project but in this case we don't want that uh, we can hit apply And I'm going to be right on the edge of it. Um, but so if I just back up, raise the blade, you can see here I'm on the design. Um, there's my cross section view. So if you look, we zoom in there, we can see we're going out, down. And we're coming back up and um, there's the plan view um, go through um, let's change that to be a 3d view press and hold change view um, 3d 3d view um, and then yeah so that's uh, that's the design we just created very easy um, now we'll go and um, start cutting it out so you can see here, so now since we've created a design, uh, I can actually use the automatics. So I'm manually steering this one, um, but the blades and autos. Um, so if I wanted to do this without a design, I wouldn't be able to leverage automatics. So that's the benefit of using the system, because you can leverage the technology it gives you the value I should say. Okay guys, so yeah, you can see here I've just moved over, um, there's my, th my design that I just created, um, my cross section view, I'm in autos and um, all this easily created on the machine to um, do the task that I need to do. Okay guys, so hopefully you found that useful. Just a very quick example of um, the ability to do an infield design in the dozer 
um, to do a task that I need to do without waiting for a, a design to be created and sent to me. So anyway, take it easy guys and I uh, hope you look forward to the next video. Cheers, bye.